when you think about how these two worlds work together, it's like when you put together two ingredients sometimes by accident on a plate, like, oh shit. Uh -huh. The syrup just mixed with the fucking <laughs> eggs, man. That shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like an accidental, how did this come together? And, and I think that that's what was dope about it too. I don't know how it got to me writing to it, but for me, uh, because I just got like Tourette's, man, I can't sit still, you know, I, I have to move. <laughs> I, I have to do something creatively. Even when I'm working in the studio, if I'm not making a beat, someone's writing, I'll put the headphones on and start another beat, or I'll just pull out my phone, piece of paper, and just scribble some lines, I get an idea. He saw me kind of moving around and was like, you got something for this? And I'm like, I might, you know, <laughs> might, you know what I mean? And then he came with the idea to make it short. That even encouraged me more because I felt like I could sneak in and out. You know, because I love rapping <laughs> and I only rap with people that are my friends or where it would make sense. And at this point, me and Larry got to a relationship where it was like, it feels right. 30 Days is like one of my favorite songs he's ever made. So that put even a little more pressure. He probably doesn't know that. But just the title alone was like, damn. I felt that spark again that I, I felt in 2018 when I was recording that project. We're like, man, I got to show these people who I am all over again. Because, you know, nobody really knew me to do shit with Alchemist. You know what I mean? So it was like a new world for people. Like, oh, I didn't expect you. So I didn't expect this to happen. So I got back into that bag where it's like, I got to like, let me show I can jump in this bag too. I'm still standing on my word. I've been grand scheming. Took a trip to the shot after I left Cleveland. Fresh game, touchdown, played the four seasons. She made a thousand first night. I told her she can keep it. You know, I've been scheming. 60 day run. I'm trying to put these plays together and I'm, I'm in motion like the ocean. So, you know what I'm saying? I, that's pretty much what it was. I'm standing on my word. I'm still putting out these classics. Two days in Napa Valley, I'm meeting Sapanaki. I'm riding dirty through the traffic, took the Mac Ducati. I went to Napa Valley in 2016. I was out there for a couple of days and I went to a random restaurant in downtown Napa and um, I tried the Saganaki and uh, it was on fire when I, when it came out, it was on, it was fire and shit. So I, it was something real cool for me and different. So I, you know, it really happened. Just some shit that went with the song. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I get them posts if, if I want it, then I go and copy. Did a two mil play and fled to an island. I had went to Honolulu, man, me and my son. Did a little play, and uh, after that, I said, we celebrated. We went to uh, Hawaii for my son's birthday. My leather coat was dragging in the dirt. I got buff from baggage in the work. I'm at the table. I'm having a dessert. Three-piece suit with the napkin and the shirt. When you write a rhyme, it's just like when you start a movie or you're doing stand-up, like, you got to get them out the gate. Prodigy, my brother, rest in peace, every rap he started was classic. Same with Inspector Deck. There's some rappers, they just really step in. And so, yeah, that was an homage to my brother, but also, you know, getting on a record with Larry. It's kind of like opening a Rob Report. I'm at the table, I'm having dessert, you know what I mean? Call me later. I'm a big bowl of macaroni. Know how to spot and catch a phony. Do the plaxico to myself before the matrimony. Plaxico Burris reference. Um, it was an incident, football player. And he, I think he accidentally shot himself. Do the plaxico to myself, like using it as a verb. I always think of P, I think of Jay-Z, in the way that they take common things and make them uncommon. Like everybody would say at the time that they had some ice or some jewelry on, but Jay was like, I got a big bucket of frozen water on my chest. But I felt like it, it, it would be kind of funny to say that I would do the plaxico to myself before getting married. I'm on a record with Larry. You know, this is some real player activity. I felt like it, it made sense. Stick shift Aston, I'm digging in my trick basket. Fixing plays, cut up the pie, split the change. A lot of shit could happen in 60 days. I think that's, a, you know, me and Larry, we're partners on this shit right now. So we're really 50-50, like we really, you know, I don't even need a pizza cutter, just a knife right down the middle. 50, you could cut the circle any straight line you want and it'll all add up the right way. I drove the Porsche for no reason. I know it's rainy out. She fell in love real quick, but we just hanging out. For the particular Porsche that I got, it's two wheel drive, I got the GT3. And uh, it's horrible to drive in the rain. So I drove it for no reason. I actually did that like a couple months ago. I was playing a project trying to just pick the songs that I want to use and see what I want to switch. And I drove the Porsche for no reason. And it was raining outside and I shouldn't have did that. 
I got all kind of shit. I rarely bring him out. He never did it like this. I took a different route. Coming from where I come from, a hood environment to talking about orange juice and going jogging and um, shopping at expensive grocery stores. That was different from where I came from, you know what I mean? So it wasn't a, um, a particular person and it was just more like, they never did it like this. I took a different route because I could have went a whole different route. I paint a picture like Martin Johnson, towels by my sink, Turkish cotton, it's different, you wouldn't spot it. So I went to um, Restoration Hardware and I, I was like, man, can you customize some towels for my, for my bathroom? So they, they put me on a Turkish cotton. I didn't really know what it was. And they're a lot thicker. You know what I'm saying? When you dry off, they they, they dry quicker, I feel like. I'm just getting put onto it too, like not to teach the world. <laughs> I made it out when they got grimy and found better ways to monetize it. What's happening? 60 days. You know, Pops always told me, um, man, people out here putting their time into this, when you could have took that same energy and put it towards something positive. I came from knowing a certain thing, even you know, our whole family, we, we knew what we knew. And um, they taught me what they knew. I broke the cycle and I, I did something positive with it and I found better ways to monetize. Then once I found that, that way to do it, that's changed my life. He, he explained to me when he sent me the beats, he was like, each beat I sent to you was like describing the bay. When I heard him, I felt the same thing. So I felt like that was, it made it real special, the project, because every every song felt like a a new chapter, like a new scene in a movie on some real, like, super fly, but elegant. 